With thousands of migrants stranded on the U.S. border, threats of lethal force and tear gas are amplifying an already intense scene. They have to, they're going to use lethal force. Having left Honduras and now stuck there, the majority of the migrants stranded at the border just want to realize their dream. Now, Donald Trump is threatening to cut off aid to the country for enabling the migrant caravan to approach the U.S. border. Now, the amount of aid the USA gives to Honduras isn't particularly large. The amount listed for 2018 is $65.8 million. Now, it may come as a shock, but some leftists and activists in Honduras actually want the United States to cut off aid. The aid that the U.S. government gives Honduras is invested precisely in the failed security policy. And 70 members of the U.S. Congress agree with them. There's been a bill that's been put forward to cut off aid to Honduras to end support for what they're calling a corrupt and undemocratic regime. We should have cut off military aid to Honduras a long time ago, but for very different reasons. Their complete disregard for worker rights, indigenous rights, and individual freedoms are unacceptable in an ally of the United States. Now, the socialist president of Honduras was toppled in 2009 in a military coup that took place shortly shortly after Barack Obama took office. Now, there was outrage all over the world, but the United States recognized the new elections that took place under military rule. These interruptions of democracy should be completely relegated to the past. Now it is time for the hemisphere as a whole to move forward and welcome Honduras back into the inter-American community. Since that time, Honduras has been caught in a downward spiral of drugs, crime, poverty, and political strife. Now, this all peaked in 2017 when Juan Orlando Hernandez was elected president. There were protests and the government responded with force. Now, widespread allegations of voter fraud prompted conflicting responses from the United States, with the U.S. Capitol giving mixed messages. Honduras held a presidential election, which was marred by irregularities and a lack of transparency. A new election must take place. The widespread irregularities raise further doubts about the legitimacy of the Honduran elections. We joined calls for a new election, one that must be free, fair and transparent. We congratulate President Juan Orlando Hernandez on his victory in the November 26 presidential elections. There was the very, very questionable election results, which the United States supported. And uh, so we've seen the Hernandez government, which is totally corrupt, cracking down, repressing the people of Honduras. So uh, the United States has not been on the side of the Honduran people, has not been on the side of positive progressive reform. The United States has been in bed with the repressive regime. The migrants on the border are fleeing some horrific realities at home. And whether or not Washington shoulders some of the blame, those problems are now at their doorstep. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.